Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Skyland Challenge. Last time we've complete we completed the 10 challenges that we did that Stampy Cat set for us. This time we're gonna be starting on Iskow's Grim Challenges, the ones he set for Ren Dog, so he could undemise himself because well, I like that makes any sense. Go watch out craft, is that what I'm saying? I'll just put the I'll just put the link to the description link link to, to Iskow's video where he explains what the Grim Challenges are in his video. Uh, I haven't done much progress since the last video, in fact I barely done anything, I got a bit of iron and made that into a s about to make that into a sword because we're going to go mining because, well because I have already got down the six challenges so let's um, make a bit of let's make a bit of torches we've got the wood, we've got everything there we go. So let's take a look at the Grim Challenges. I know it's written by me, but trust me, these are Ithgo. So let's read them. I did a bit of modifying, but overall they're the exact same. So, challenge one, the dive. Swim to the bottom of the ocean and of the ocean and, and mine a gravel mine a block of gravel. Grab it and swim back up. Don't get real loud, so we can't use potions or anything. Chapter, t uh, chapter challenge two: the hot sauce. Jump into the lava ocean and in the never and get out ASAP. Basically, get out and don't die. Uh, chapter three: the night. Survive a full night using only a diamond sword and food. No breaking blocks, and must be in an unbuilt area. We'll just do it like somewhere over there. I just want to do it like a flat area. Probably like over there. Like we can't mind we can't mind anything and yeah. Uh, anyway, ch chapter four. Uh, chapter what the bloody hell? Uh, challenge four, creep the creeper. Kill three creepers using a flint's bill. No other weapons are allowed. Creepers must die and they can't explode. So that solves that challenge. Why am I here? Let me just And challenge five, DSD, dig straight down, dig down in any location above Y equals 60. Go to the, go to, go down to bedrock or die in lava. So we're going to get up and get back down without dying. If we die in lava, then we have to call that challenge failure. So really do a board like, so we can call the challenge is complete. So, that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to put the buck in here so we don't lose it. I don't have a map. But it's already on. Well, I've already got host privileges on, so... I'm not cheating. I need this. That's all there. Right then. We've got the wood. We've got some food. Not enough. We're going to grab our diamond pickaxe so we can mine a few more things. We're going to go until we get a full set of iron armor and a bit more stuff. We need... We mainly need... Um, we mainly we're mainly after the diamonds. I know my food farm looks. I know my farm looks a little dead. But it doesn't matter. Let's just uh, quickly grab all this food. Maybe a bit of coal might help. Okay, so uh, let me just put everything in here. I'll probably grab all these carrots. We don't know how much we're going to need. Right. Uh, there you are. Okay then. Let's go find a cave and start mining. We're after all sorts of stuff. Coal might be good, so we have a good stack of those. And yeah, I don't know how long this mining session will take. I'll probably go until we get diamonds. Now I now I grabbed the iron from a cave I saw nearby. It was. I think it was around here, I don't remember. 
In any case, we can just dig, dig down. I don't care. This looks promising. There's a bit of iron. We'll grab that. I just grab the coal. I also want gold for golden carrots. It doesn't say what type of food. But if I can't, but if I don't get many much gold, I'll just use uh, baked potatoes. Counting, we're gonna lose track. I'm glad we could get resources now. The thing is, like, I didn't have to do the, the, these the challenges. But I want to send off this series on a note. got enough we've got we oh though the pickaxe is like nearly well dead it's like halfway through doesn't mean that we still haven't we still need to use it no, I'm just gonna dig down so getting a bit more gravel could help Let's keep on mining. I'll grab the iron. We'll keep going until we go to a cave. Oh, wild. Y equals 12. I am mining to get materials because that's what we need. We're getting a load of iron. So for the challenges, I might have a display board, so I'm going to make that in, bet like in between like a few episodes. So I can see a little better. Nine minutes in, and we haven't even found a cave yet. Oh, I heard water.
bring it towards down here. Yeah. I'll go this way. Yep, this is what we're gonna have to deal with, guys. Why do I never bring a bucket with me? I want to mention this when I get to Sonic Adventure 2, but which I will do eventually. But I'll mention this now. Um, you know, Rouge in Sonic Adventure 2, the voice actor. Don't remember her name. Yeah, prepare for something shocking. She bo she voiced Bobsy. In Bobsy 3D, I'm not even joking, I was looking that up. Yeah, Bobsy 3D, yeah, who knows that game? Oh, of course, we all do. It's infamous on the internet for being like it is. Blocky based, plat the terrible platforming, terrible controls, the god awful camera, the controls, oh, I mentioned the controls yet. At least there's a viable reason. Well, I'll mention the history of Bubsy 3D and why it's like that. Uh, there was a company in the 80s known as Infocom who made quality text-based adventure designers until they were bought out in Activision. One of, one of the team members actually left and started another company called Idetic with, with one of the companies. With someone else. Idetic, Idetic not only made Bubsy 3D due to their terrible... But it explains why Bubsy 3D is like as it is. Where was I? Oh yeah, it's, it, it's like what it is because they were text-based adventure designers. Uh, and and after and after that, they made the side controller games until Sony bought them out and made Bend and they bought until Sony bought them out and they created and turned their name into Bend Studios, who made. Uh, who made uh, in uh, Uncharted Golden Abyss, I think it is, for the Vita. Yeah, they went from Bobsy 3D to a Vita game. Uh, why is it a pretty good Vita game? Yeah. Shocking. There must be a cave nearby. Oh no! Oh, yeah, this might take a few episodes actually. I got a bow. Nice. A bit of gold. Okay, so now what? What else is here? Got quite a bit of iron, got a lot of junk. I don't think I have enough iron, but I'm gonna keep grabbing the iron. Oh, and by the way, guys, no, I am not dedicating another challenge to defeating the Ender Dragon. That's what's a quest for. That's in itself his own challenge. A quest. Created by Stampy. And Squid. Mainly Stamps. You. Face me. Ah. 
Hang on. Hang on. You know what I want to do. Get my health up a bit. Get a bit more coolage. Hello. Hopefully my soul doesn't break. Good. No, it can break. We got a lot of blocks here, so let's just use them. All we need is two diamonds. Once we find these two diamonds, we can leave. Yeah. We just need two. something up here. Oh my god, that's free. And I'm not, I'm not prepared. Oh, I'm gonna die. Which way? I'm gonna die. Alright, I picked two. Alright, I picked two off. I can handle the other one. I'll just put my health to go back up. Ooh. Look, I can get. Look, I've got a mob spawner back at home. Look, I've got a mob spawner back in the gr back up sky in the sky. I can. Oh, oh, wait. Now we can start using this. And Bodius, throw this stuff away. There's no harm in looking. No, there's nothing here, so yeah. Why don't I place that torch there? I hate die right. Clean this world every day, every minute. Getting on the die right for your safety. The Iskar Company. We get rid of die right so you don't have. We will get rid of your die right this way, even if you even if you don't want to get rid of it. Clean. We also clean the world every day for your safety. You can thank us later. Even if you don't want to. Even if you don't want to thank us and you still want your diary, we'll still get rid of it because it's ugly. And it looks like bird poop. It really does look like bird poop, it's stupid. And I don't think even diary even looks like that in. I mean, diorite even looks like that, too. Oh. Well, so we're coming to the end of the episode, so let's see what's over here. Uh, yeah, diddly squat. Oh, wait, there's something over here. This guy's bigger than the F4. Oh, okay. Let's just start eating the carrots. You go away. Nobody wants you. Well, I'm not gonna grab the redstone because I don't need it. Yep. All right, guys. 
I'm going to end the episode there. If you enjoyed it, please sure hit that like button, subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on future content, and hit that notification bell too. Next time, we'll be heading into, we'll be heading into, we'll be heading deeper into the mines to find more diamonds, because that's what we need to complete one of the challenges. We need diamonds. So, I'm going to try and find my way back. I think it was this way. So, Thank you all for watching. Have yourselves a great day. Is this it? Yes, this is it. Brilliant. We're back. Thank you all for watching. Have yourselves a great day and take care. I'm not lining any further.